Hi and welcome to 50 cents. I've had quite a few requests for today's video and I have to admit when I first mentioned its title to Mr 50 cents he was a little confused. Formication. It happens to quite a few women when they go through menopause and yeah I've been through it too. My name's Lizzie and let's get started. Let's go with the basics first. Menopause. Menopause is a life stage that happens between the ages of 45 to 55. Usually it marks the end of your reproductive life and the start of your next stage. The years leading up to the menopause are known as your perimenopause. During menopause, hormonal fluctuations can lead to many physical and mental symptoms and it's really important to know what they are before they start happening. It's estimated there are about 34 different symptoms and formication is one of them. It's connected to dry itchy skin. Well, it is in my book because my skin went horrendously dry during the perimenopause years. So you may get dry itchy skin and also formication. Now formication is a strange sensation when it feels as if you've got ants or insects crawling inside your skin. Don't worry, there are no insects inside your skin. It's a result of the hormonal changes and imbalances that you're experiencing during the perimenopause years. It can be quite unsettling and disturbing for people going through it. So why does formication occur during menopause? Well, one of your main sex hormones, estrogen, is lowering during your menopause years. It doesn't do it on a straight line as I just showed though. It has a little bit of a disco and it goes up and down and parties a bit. I think it feels it's on like the big dipper at Alton Towers. So your estrogen levels are dropping and that decrease can affect your nervous system leading to sensory changes. The nerves in your skin become more sensitive and this heightened sensitivity can create the sensation of crawling or tingling. I found it almost it felt like a burning sensation. I wanted to literally scratch my skin off at times to get rid of this horrible sensation underneath. Um, you can see in a photograph that A shows how dry my skin was and B shows just how much I was scratching it because of formication. If you are experiencing formication, it's important to remember you're not alone. Many women find themselves affected by this. Some people will get it very lightly, others will be like me and want to rip their skin off. I don't know if you've read The Voyage of the Dawn Treader, but when Eustace becomes the dragon and he has to peel the skin off to become the little boy again, that's what it felt like for me. But don't worry, you're not doomed to suffer. There are many ways you can ease the symptoms of formication. First and foremost, and this should be on the list for every menopause symptom you get, Take care of yourself. Looking after yourself and looking after your stress levels is one of the most important things you can do during this time to help with every symptom you can suffer. Try some stress reducing activities like meditation and yoga. Now I was never a huge meditation fan, but I found just a few minutes at night focusing on my breathing helps me sleep easier and it shuts down my mind a little bit. Although I have to be honest, I am having a bad sleep time at the moment. So if you've got any tips that can help, let me know because I'm desperate to try them out. Also exercise regularly. I mean, this could be anything. It could just be as simple as going out into the fresh air and going for a walk, getting your 10,000 steps in, could be running, weights, Whatever you enjoy, as long as it gets you out there and it feeds you with lots of those happy hormones. And as always, a good diet. Now I know in perimenopause, this isn't always easy, but do try to eat well. Watch your caffeine and watch your alcohol intake. And yeah, I struggle on those ones as well. But generally, make sure you eat a good, well-balanced diet with plenty of fruit and vegetables and whole grains. Along with that healthy diet, 
stay hydrated. I know there's a lot of discussion around whether you should have two liters of water or not a day. I can't drink two liters of water, I'll be honest with you. But I do know that I feel better if I do up my water intake. So try and have a couple of glasses extra a day. It'll help moisturize your whole body. Also, your clothing can help a lot. Loose fitting, easy breathing clothing can help get some vital oxygen back to your skin. I said before how much I love 51 apparel. The t-shirts are good quality and extremely comfortable to wear. It does just feel like you're wearing nothing. They'll keep you feeling cool as well and that's another great way to help with formication. So cool, loose, breathable clothing. Of course a good moisturizer is always going to help. I'm in love with Neutrogena, I think it's 60 plus at the minute, I'll put a picture up for it. It goes on really quickly, it doesn't leave you with that horrible sticky sensation and I've noticed a big difference in my skin through using it. I do like Palmer's Coconut Oil Formula Cream. It can be a little thicker to rub in because it is such a thick rich cream. So I quite often just keep it for night time when I'm not in such a rush. I mean in the morning, I don't have time. Lastly, when it comes to self-care, watch the hot showers and baths. Turn the temperature down a bit. I mean, you'll not only be saving the planet, you'll be saving your skin as well. There are medical options you can take as well. HRT, of course, or if you're watching this in the States, I think you guys are starting to call it MHT. Oh, I did a you guys and I've always promised never to do that menopausal hormone therapy which personally I prefer and if you'd like to know why I think MHT is better than HRT let me know but it'll be quite a ranty video I'll warn you. HRT can help alleviate your symptoms obviously as with everything talk to your healthcare provider and weigh up the benefits against the risks it might be worth it for you it might not. And if you use a topical form of HRT, which is the best and what I would recommend, remember to leave time between putting on your body cream and putting on the estrogen gel or your patch because the body lotion could affect how quickly or just how effectively your skin absorbs the estrogen you need. If it continues or you don't want to use HRT, still go see your healthcare provider because there are other medications that can help. And as with everything with menopause or just life, talk to your friends and family about it. Ask for their support because they might be going through it too. And also just knowing that they know what you're going through can be a huge help as well. I think it's a little bit like CBT. It changes how you feel in your head. You don't feel quite so isolated and alone. Or you could join a menopause group or go to a menopause cafe. Menopause cafes are great. Or join an online group, there's plenty on Facebook. Just take some of what they say with a little pinch of salt and always double check it with your healthcare provider because I've seen a few dodgy pieces of advice given out over the years. While formication is usually harmless, it's important, as with any menopause symptom that's having an impact on your life, that you go and seek advice from a healthcare provider. They can give you personalized advice and do let any underlying issues. Menopause is a natural phase in our life and it's essential to understand the changes it can bring, including formication. By staying informed and seeking support, you can navigate this life stage with confidence and grace. If you have any questions or there are topics you'd like me to cover, please let me know in the comments below or if you find a way to help with your formication, please share it. I love reading your comments and I love how everybody exchanges information. And if you've enjoyed this, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the little bell so you get notifications. And please tell other people about this. I'd love it if we could reach 1000 subscribers soon. As always, thank you for joining me. Take care of yourself and I'll see you on the next video.